students the topic that we are going to learn today is co dominance before that let us recap what is meant by complete dominance in case of complete dominance you would find that among the two alleles of a particular gene one will be dominant in case of incomplete dominance on the other hand both the alleles are not going to be dominant instead they produce a combined effect now today we whatever topic we are going to deal that is co dominance you will find that both alleles are dominant so how is it possible and what is the example for this example for this is human blood grouping so in case of human blood grouping you should understand how we give names to particular blood groups so we as you know in humans we follow the abo system of blood grouping wherein either the blood group is a or b or ab or o so what determines that it is determined by sugar polymers present on the plasma membrane of rbc in a person let us say the sugar polymer called as this is present on my rbc then i my blood group will be a let us say the sugar polymer called b and otherwise called as b antigen is present on the plasma membrane of my rbc then my blood group is b let's say both are present on the rbc surface then my blood group is ab if both of them are absent then my blood group is o that is what determines the blood group of a person now as you know any antigen any protein any sugar polymer any enzyme all are coded by a particular gene in this case the name of the gene is gene i which has three alternate forms when i say three alternate forms i hope you can follow that if i have this as the allele this as the allele then my surface antigen will be a on the other hand if the allele is b ib we call that as ib and the surface antigen is b and my blood group is b and so on i hope you can understand that but the problem here is we have only two chromosomes in a homologous pair this and this but how can i have all three i cannot have all three alleles instead any one among the three either i or i a or i b can be present i'll repeat this part among the three alleles i i a or i b only two can be present on our chromosome resulting in a combined effect both being dominant if i have this on one chromosome and this on another chromosome combined effect is therefore a as a blood group and let's say take another example ib present on one chromosome ia present on another chromosome then my blood group is ab because this is going to produce the b antigen this is going to produce a antigen so both the antigens are going to be present resulting in the ab blood group and so on i hope this much is clear now let us say i have this allele this allele is a nil allele meaning they will not produce any of the antigen on the surface of a rbc therefore no antigen on the surface gives o blood group there are lot of applicatory questions from this chapter from this particular topic which i will be doing in the next video thank you